Hey friends, Nate with X the Apiaries. Today I'm going to show you how to cage a queen under a push cage. This is one of the ways that you can introduce a queen and have the highest rate of acceptance because basically we're going to take the queen. This is a queen from Texas Bee Supply. And we're going to put her under the cage right above that brood that's about to hatch out. And as that brood hatches out, those baby bees are automatically going to accept the queen they're born, they're born with. So even if the rest of the bees and the rest of the hive are aggressive towards her, these new bees will be her first, uh, these baby bees that hatch out will be her advocates and, and help her get accepted to the rest of the hive. So uh, a little bit of background in order to get this set up. You collect a frame of brood, preferably brood that's about to hatch out. I wasn't lucky with this hive. This, hive, this brood is relatively new. It's going to take them a couple of days to hatch out. Um, but you collect yourself a frame of brood, brush off all the bees that are on it. I have a few stragglers here, but and bring it to a place that preferably is enclosed because sometimes these queens, when you get them, are going to be riled up, ready to fly, and as soon as you let them out of this cage, they're going to be buzzing around and you're going to be looking like an idiot running around the kitchen trying to catch this $35 bug. So do it in an area where you're confident that she won't get away, you won't lose those $35. I'm outside, I'm a little bit more reckless. Remember, do as I say, not as I do. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Keep handy a little um, can opener. This will take out the staples or your hive tool. Each queen cage comes with worker bees. These worker bees are from her original hive, and they help keep her alive in transit while she's being shipped to you or during the process of um, her being caged and stored. We do not want any of her worker bees to make it under the cage with her because they will inhibit her, ex they will prohibit her from being accepted by the rest of the bees. So I'm going to carefully, they're already kind of wild and crazy. This the workers are. Here's the queen. There you go. All right, see, she's already flying around. This is one of the reasons why I like to try to do it inside if I can. They can be a little loopy when they first come out. There we go. All right, I have all the worker bees out, so she is the only one under this cage. Now this cage is just made out of hardware cloth, the same hardware cloth you'd use on a bottom board. You can make it yourself, but find a frame that has a solid foundation to it. You can see this is a black plastic frame. It needs to have foundation behind the comb because you're gonna take this cage and push it down into the wax like so. If there's nothing behind that wax except more wax, you're going to squish all the way through it. There you go. So you can see that that queen is now caged over brood that will hatch out and become uh, nurse bees to take care of her and make sure she's accepted by the rest of the hive. We will leave her in the hive in this get up for about four to five days. I'm probably going to leave her in for five days because I'm putting her in a hive with a, a, a two queen hive. So there will be a hive up top, excuse me, a queen up top and she'll be the queen on the bottom. And I really want to make sure that they accept her. Um, but the beauty of the push cage is that she will have cells to start laying in. And since she's able to lay eggs, that's going to make her pheromone that much stronger. If we were to introduce her in this cage, the cage that she came in, or in one of the little white cages that they sometimes come in, she's restrained from laying eggs. And so her pheromone is only, is only um, so strong that way. But once she's able to start laying, then that helps her um, really make her presence known and also make her uh, viability evident to the bees around her and it makes them more likely to accept her. So that's how you install a push cage on a frame and that's how you put a queen under a push cage.